Hi everybody, I'm Alina and I've been living in China for five years. In today's video, I'm going to share why we moved to China. In two words, we moved accidentally. <laughs> Maybe it sounds weird, but this is true. I think before I will start uh, telling the story why we moved to China, you need to know a couple of facts behind it so you will know our background. Um, so yeah, me and my husband were both born in average families in Siberia, uh, where it's very cold. At the age of 19, we both started working. I worked part-time and studied, and my husband worked full-time and studied at the same time. So our families were not rich. They couldn't support us in our desire to move to another country. So we made everything on our own. In 2015, I've got an idea to start learning second foreign language. And I was thinking about German because I have relatives in there, but uh, I couldn't find a good time <laughs> for learning German. So I found a group of Spanish. <laughs> and this is, this is very interesting how accidentally it happened. But yeah, I was like, okay, Spanish, very beautiful language. Why no? <laughs> Why not to learn it too? I enrolled in this um, Spanish classes. And then after learning about culture uh, of the countries where Spanish is spoken. We also started thinking, oh, why, why not to move to Spain? I started a research about how's life in Spain and etc. And we started to save money. Actually, it was quite a big um, sum of money for us, but there was a goal. I learned the language and I also talked to other people. I had some language partners. Uh, to talk to and ask about life. Because I, I was raised in Siberia, I always thought that I want to live in the country uh, with a warm uh, climate. Uh, and Spain was like a dream <laughs> for us. Unfortunately, after a year, my husband got injured. He was a pro basketball player and he got injured and he got his ACL teared, which is very common injury for basketball players and for other kinds of athletes as well. He couldn't work, so we spent all our savings on life and uh, recovery. So we couldn't afford our dream to move to Spain anymore. When my husband recovered, he started to think about other ways to earn some money. His friend was traveling a lot, but before they worked together at one uh, gym, he asked him, oh, hi, what are you doing? Uh, why are you traveling so much? And he said, oh, I'm working in China as a coach, as a basketball coach, and I like it a lot, blah, blah, blah. So then my husband was like, why don't try it? Why just um, go there and earn some money? Maybe we can come back to our goal to move to Spain. That was very quick decision. <laughs> and we just, okay, so why not? Uh, we knew nothing, but yeah, I will talk about this later. So he resigned from his work in the gym. He's got his paycheck and on this money, he bought a one-way ticket. Uh, that time it was something like uh, $195. Then he also took uh, $250 with him. He thought like, oh, okay, maybe this amount of money is enough for living there and uh, then I'll get my salary and it, it will be all right. So <laughs> now I'm thinking that that was actually crazy. Mm -hmm. After he, he got his first salary, he bought a ticket for me and then I could move to him and this is how our life in China started. Yeah, it's true, we knew nothing about China. Uh, Roma once visited uh, Heilongjiang uh, province in China during the tournament. Uh, this tournament was held in small cities. So when he um, went from town to town, he got an impression that this is more or less the same that we have in Siberia, like the same cold, this, the same gray. So <laughs> he didn't have any ideas about moving there because yeah, 
very similar, very similar cities. I admit that we were very uneducated about how is real life in China going, what is the difference of life um, of Chinese citizen and foreigner in China, what is the difference between small and big cities, between the provinces, we knew nothing. We even didn't know the prices for life in China and especially in Shanghai because this is a huge city we didn't know how big it is and how beautiful it is maybe it was very unwise to do so to move to China without money without um, any expectations or about any knowledge about this about the city about the country in general but this is our experience and I don't have any desire to cancel it or to change it it gave us so many beautiful, amazing moments as well as truly scary and bad and disappointing moments. And some of them could happen only in China while others could happen wherever, like, in the world. So now when we've been living in China for five years, I can tell you why we've decided to move on, but this is the topic for another video. If you're interested in the following story, please let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching guys, subscribe on my channel, don't forget it, I see that many of you are watching the video without the subscription. Thumb up, subscribe and see you later guys, bye bye, paka paka!